After Sarah Bose finally had the courage to get in her daughter's room, she went in to clean it after seven whole months of not setting foot inside. Her world crumbled again when she saw her daughter's belongings. She just couldn't handle the emotional weight it pulled on her. Her daughter, Jessica, was missing for seven months. Jessica woke up one day and decided to leave her parents' house to never return again. Her departure and sudden disappearance devastated the whole family, but the one who got the biggest impact was her mother, Sarah. The story of Jessica's running away didn't make any sense as this simply wasn't in her nature. Even though she had a fight with her mom before she disappeared, she would never run away no matter how many fights she's had with her mother. Initially, both her family and the police suspected that Jessica just ran away from home. There was no evidence of forced entry and nothing seemed to be out of place in her bedroom. In addition to that, both her bag and phone were gone, so they presumed she left on her own accord and that she had actually planned the whole escape. But as they would later find out, this was their first mistake. After the search party had stopped, Sarah was losing hope and her world crumbled as she realized she may never see her daughter again. Sarah needed to find a way to make law enforcement double their efforts and continue searching for her child. She had to be somewhere and she should be found. Sarah needed something that would prove that Jessica didn't run away. It was time to think outside the box, but first, she'd have to face facts and acknowledge that her daughter may never be found and that she would probably have to leave with the though of her daughter gone for good. To get the evidence she needed, Sarah decided to do something she had been avoiding for months. She grabbed her courage and entered Jessica's room. She was sobbing and aching as she cleaned her missing daughter's room. She hadn't been in there since the police carried out their search. Seeing her usually clean room in such a mess just confirmed to her that Jessica wasn't coming back. At first, everything in the room seemed fine until she entered the bathroom, and that's where her world turned upside down. It was the first piece of a horrifying puzzle. Sarah noticed a strange red light in the mirror. She walked towards it to see where it was coming from. After close inspection, it turned out that it was inside the mirror handle. At first, she thought it was just an odd reflection, but as she got closer, she realized that it wasn't. Sarah looked at the mysterious red light puzzle, and then it came to her. Her heart started racing like crazy as she realized what she was looking at. It was a camera, a hidden camera in her daughter's bathroom mirror, and it was still recording. The camera looked too suspicious and oddly placed. It seemed as though it was set there maliciously. Sarah managed to pull the camera out of the mirror and called her husband. Hearing the worry and panic in her voice, he rushed in. They had no idea what was coming. The cameras had it up and planted. Why would Jesha feel the need to plant cameras in her own bathroom? Her husband grabbed the camera off Sarah and ran to the computer. He couldn't type fast enough as he researched everything about its model and how to find the device it was connected to. He spent hours researching and going through every website he found, until he eventually found the answers he was looking for. It was possible to track the device, but in order to do this, they needed some professional help. Immediately, the parents decided to contact the police, who in turn contacted the FBI. The newfound piece of evidence was exactly what Sarah needed to convince the police that there was much more to her daughter's disappearance than meets the eye. Sarah and her husband had an anxious couple of days as they waited to hear back from the investigation and what the FBI found. When they were finally contacted by the investigators, they couldn't believe what they heard. The police told them that the camera was connected to a device that was only a few blocks down the street. The camera led to Jessica's friend Max's house. Despite the warning to wait for the cops to arrive before approaching the house, Sarah and her husband ran down the street the minute they found out. They had no time to waste in case their daughter was really held captive there, God knows in which conditions. The house's door was locked and they weren't able to get in from the front door. Just before Sarah was about to throw a rock through the window, the cops arrived and busted in through the door. They ordered Sarah and her husband to wait outside and stay away while they raided the house. After several minutes of raid, Jessica ran through the front door and almost fell at the sight of her parents waiting outside with racing hearts. 
Jessica told them everything from the very beginning. When she first found the camera plant in her bathroom's mirror, she was shocked at living, and she immediately confronted Max about it and even threatened him to go to the cops. And that's when he freaked out, not wanting anything on his record. He freaked out and locked her in one of his ensued bathrooms, where she had remained for the past seven months. Thankfully, Jessica was never harmed or physically abused in any way. She was fed and even given a TV, but her phone was taken away so she would have no way to contact the outside world. She tearfully embraced her parents and apologized for putting them through all of that heartache and worry. Sarah felt like she was living in a surrealistic movie. This was the kind of stories you only hear about in books or thriller TV shows on streaming websites. Despite the hellish months she's been through, Sarah was overwhelmed with happiness to finally have her daughter back into her arms. But a few questions still roamed her mind. How did the police miss the camera in the bathroom in their first inspection? And how did her friend's parents not notice that their son was hiding their daughter in their own house? Sarah needed answers for her tormenting questions, and she needed them soon. As it later turned out, the camera was controllable from the device. The red light was on only when it was recording, which is why the police never noticed, as he had it turned off during the search. As for her other question, it turned out that Mark's parents actually moved out a year ago to another state, leaving him the entire house to himself.